Hey, how's it going? So this is uh, Brian Fields again, back with uh, the next revision of this, which was supposed to be the final revision. This is our uh, replacement Quantar V24 converter. However, it's designed to be fully compatible with the OEM one and adding a few features. Um, adding a, uh, get a pointer here. The standard CTS dip switch, but we're able to now tie CTS and RTS together at the RS-232 level. Uh, tie clock together if needed, and assert CD. Um, we can also make CD high or low. Typically we want it high. Uh, that's a resistor that really probably is never gonna be changed. It also has a relay on it to enable clock input or output. For example, if you're connected to a channel bank, you want to clock it this. You don't want this to generate clock. Um, and this here makes it really easy with this to um, change the clock from uh, if they're tied together or not. The other thing that we have here is we have the standard straight through port. There's a little uh, Easter egg on the board underneath that one. And then we have a crossover port here as well. So what this allows you to do is, and this is the standard, uh, it's the same pinout that Motorola uses on this port. Uh, this allows you to use a straight through ethernet cable and just plug one side into this and then one side into uh, the other standard V24 port or another one of these so long as you go into the cross one on one and the straight on the other, and then you have them, you know, either generate your clock or however you're doing your clock, it'll work just with no problem. Uh, if you do go into an AstroTac, it does care about carrier detect. It needs to be asserted. Uh, and the way this works, it'll assert it on one end or the other. Uh, it really doesn't matter. However, the fun little thing, um, there's jumpers under all these if you want to eliminate this and just have it do one thing. Uh, <laughs> this is all based around this uh, Max uh, 3185 chip, and this is a 30 some odd year old part. Um, what's really funny, and I went to the data sheet because I, I pulled the uh, Ultra Librarian um, part for this to use in KiCad, or KiCad, however you want to say it. I say KiCad because I think it's an E. But, and this is actually on the data sheet, um, I'm working an issue with this right now with analog devices or Maxim. Uh, they're looking into it and they're gonna get back to me, but I'm 90% certain this is it right here. So I'm gonna have to re-spin this board yet again. Um, I thought we were good to go on this and I verified this particular pinout per the data sheet. I spent about an hour just looking at it to make certain everything was lined up. And this is indeed the case, these are listed uh, reversed on the data sheet. So luckily it's not on me, but it is going to be a respin of the board again. Uh, and uh, I ordered a couple hundred of them last time. So yeah, this is uh, too hard to change. I mean, it, it takes, by the time I cut it and do everything, uh, it's very, very simple, but keep in mind, it is a surface mount device. Um, and uh, getting underneath this thing is, uh, I had to cut one trace underneath it and then one here. Excuse me. And this just goes up here so there's no via on it or anything where I could easily tap into it. So kind of have to go in here with a little piece of copper foil. It is, uh, it's quite annoying. So we'll see what Maxim uh, comes back with. These chips are actually pretty hard to find right now and considering how much they want for them, would kind of uh, expect a little bit better, but uh, they have confirmed it. Uh, I'm waiting on final uh, numbers from them to know which way I need to go. But I think the, the fact this has this on it, uh, the crossover cable on it, makes it really, really easy. You don't have to mess around with outside adapters and things like that. So uh, I think this is actually probably improved. And the other thing that's really nice about it, uh, let me see, I might have to move this around a bit. Let's see if I can do this. Um, so yeah, so this here is, it's actually plugged in a board right now, but 
the way it's set up, these two are set underneath the board and I'm actually using a very low profile connector here. This probably won't use this type of connector on here. This is the connector that I'm using here. This is actually what's supposed to mate with the Motorola connector or the Amphenol connector that Motorola uses. Um, however, these are like a $6 connector. I'm just gonna end up using headers. Um, but this does give enough clearance for all these parts to sit and actually not even contact the board. You can see it, it'll rotate a bit. Um, and I also tried this on the four wire, or excuse me, this is a four wire card. Let me move this out of here. Um, I also tried this on a four wire card right here. Um, or eight wire card and you can see Normally this is the where it would plug into. And then this has this space here and there's a lot more stuff behind it. Uh, this is a real problem with the previous aftermarket boards is they wouldn't have clearance. So this now has plenty of clearance there. Um, it's gonna have a little bit less clearance with the header connector, but it'll still be fine. It won't cant up or anything. Um, And it sits in there real nicely. So I think this is a probably a, a much needed improvement on top of uh, everything else. Uh, certainly, considering the availability of the V24 bar boards is a little harder to find now. And I actually prefer this, um, well, because I made it. And I don't have to mess around with adapters and things like that to get stuff to talk back and forth when I'm in the field. I just use a straight through ethernet cable, standard cable I can buy anywhere, buy it from Amazon, have it here, you know, same day, and throw some dip switches on here. That is really what Motorola should have done, but, uh, you know, they made this stuff back in the 90s. Anyways, um, again, it's not a graham cracker, don't eat this. Um, hopefully I have some upstate. Um, I think we are gonna make these available somewhere to buy some of them. I don't know, um, maybe, maybe not, uh, but uh, it is a open, uh, open project and I'll post some details on it. Once we actually have a working uh, printed circuit board, I thought it was gonna be today, but apparently not. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Uh, this is uh, Brian Fields, amateur radio call sign W9CR.